Hello, social media. Hello, you guys. Welcome to Lakita T Shops exclusive inspirational channel. I am so happy that you have decided to join me. So, hey, hello, hello, everybody. Well, anyway, um, right now it is about 1135 and I am in Virginia. Hello, everybody. Um, I welcome you. Um, sit down, relax. So if you're laying in the bed, hello, hello. If you're at work, hello. And wherever you may be, hello. So anyway, um, check out all of my books over at Amazon.com. Head over there and go shopping for additional resources and check out my books, my world of books. And I'm just so happy that you guys have decided to join me on today. So I welcome you. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, shout out to all of my um, old subscribers and my new subscribers and people who have been with me for a long time. Shout out to my silent subscribers who watch me, who never says anything, but you guys are watching. Thank you so much for being there. You guys are probably my biggest supporters and I thank you so very much. Well, anyway, let me get started and let me get going. Um, it's like the harder you try, the harder something come up against you or the harder you fall. I know exactly what it's like to work extremely hard for something and to just see it, I mean, to seem like something is like pushing you backwards or something is pushing you off your, you know, what you're doing. I know what it's like to have, you know, you, you, you're, you're pushing, you know, you're getting yourself together, you doing what you got to do and something just pushing you backwards, you know. And, you know, it can be really hard. You know, I understand. I know um, of someone that um, I know that, you know, he he was, like, taking care of himself. And he was doing really, really well. And he was homeless at one time. And, you know, eventually he got himself together, you know, got a job at a fast food place. And, you know, he got himself together. And, you know, next thing I know, he was, you know, having the mental breakdowns and, you know, losing his mind and whatever was going on with him. He, a lot came on to, on him and he dealt with a lot, a lot of different things and just went through a lot and just went downward and had a crash. So I understand what it's like, you know, um, to get yourself together whatever you are aiming for whatever you are pushing for is like life is trying to push you back you know and you know in this life you have to be very strong you have to have a strong you have to be strong in this life because you can't give up just because something happens you can't give up just because something happened, you know, for those of you who don't know me, I experienced, um, you know, I suffered with mental challenges that I have of my own. And also I had a, a, a separation from my husband that happened very quickly. So I had to be strong. I had to piece myself back together again, you know, and take care of myself and get myself back on my feet, you know, and to take care of me. And, um, so I understand what it's like to, you know, kind of be at one place in your life and in the next place you are, you know, um, something happened and you are going down. So I understand what it's like to be on a rise and you are, your life is just literally, you seeing it like adrenaline or it's coming down, but that is a sign, you know, sometimes that is a good sign when you are chosen by God, because, you know, just like Job in the Bible, who was God's obedient servant, 
and he was doing everything that, you know, um, he was on the rise, you know, and having family, having so much prosperity and stuff like that. And God took a lot from him, you know, and, um, but he gave it all back to him. You know, he allowed the enemy to come and attack him so many different times, you know, and Job was to the point was like, I'm about to take my own life. That's how bad life got. You know, he said, I'm about to take my own life that, you know, life got so bad, you know. And so um, it just got so bad, you know. And um, but he recovered from it. He recovered. He recovered from all of it, you know. And, um, you know, I'm just I'm just here to say to you, you know, that. You have to be strong and you have to make sure that you are definitely keeping God in the midst of everything you do. I don't care what you are going through, but I don't want you to look to a bottle to alcoholic drinks to sober you, I mean, to make you cope through life. You know, if you are doing that, you, you need to definitely start changing up your regimen and going to God and submitting it all to God and coping with it that way. Um, I can tell you that I have never, you know, I have never um, been the one to drink like that, you know. And, um, and when I look around me and I see what it's doing to, you know, um, people around me drinking and they're drinking and it's destroying their life. You know, so, you know, if you have it under, under control, good for you that you have it under control. But, you know, sometimes you can allow it to escalate and it cause you to, you know, you're drinking so much, you're drinking your life away. You know, so that, you know, I definitely want you to work on that. And I will pray for you, you know, in Jesus name that you will find peace with just in God alone, you know, and believe me. God is more than able to see you through. God is more than able to piece you back together again. God is more than able to get things on a straight and narrow for you. So, yeah, it's hard when you're trying to push and you feel like I'm pushing, but now I got a sick baby. I'm trying to push. Now I got a sick um, neighbor. I'm trying to push. Now my car has broken down. I'm trying to push. Now they cutting my hours at work. I'm trying to push. Now I'm getting overdraft fees or on my bank accounts. And things are just coming at me all left and right. I'm trying to push. And now I got a broken pipe in my house. And now I need to change the pipes in my house. You know, I, I'm trying to push. But now... You know, I'm having problems, you know, with my son fussing at me all the time and arguing at me all the time. I'm trying to push, you know, but my life has just seemed like it's just falling apart. But when your life seems to be falling and falling apart, sometimes it can be falling in place when it seems like your life is falling apart. You know, um, I want you to know that. You know, there is so much God wants to do. There is so much God wants to do in your life. So much God wants to do through you. So much, you know, God wants to just, you know, he, he wants to just be with you every step of the way as you go through, you know. And, you know, I want you to know, as that sign says, it says, don't quit. Don't quit. I do not want you to quit. Don't quit. Okay. Don't quit. No matter what happens, no matter what you go through, do not quit. Do not give up. Do not quit. Okay. And I have a sign right here that says, um, results driven, passion fueled, results driven, passion fueled. And then I have a right here, as you can see above me, this sign right there, the, that sign, 
It says, with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. So no matter what you are going through, just know that you will get through, um, you know, get through. And I want you to always, this is very important, but I always want you to show grace. Show grace to people. So many people don't deserve a second chance and they don't deserve it, so many people. But I am here to say that show grace, you know, show grace and God is going to bless you and he is going to show you grace. The same grace that you show with others, God is going to extend it to you, you know. So um, I want you to know that you know, you are going to overcome. You're going to make it through whatever challenge that's trying to destroy your life. You know, whatever challenge that's trying to come up against you, you are going to make it. You are going to um, succeed. You are going to get through so um, I want you to know that, you know, God is going to be with you. God is going to be with you every step of the way. Um, well, I hope that you are enjoying what you are watching and enjoying this message. And um, I hope that you have a great weekend. You know, it is Friday and, you know, so much is happening. So much is you know, you probably going through a lot, whatever in your life, or you probably, you know, you probably smooth selling, but you probably, some of you are probably going through some turbulence. I call it some turbulence, you know, that's coming in your life and coming, you know, coming surrounding you, you know, and um, yeah, so I am here to say you know, um, we are, first of all, have a great day. I will see you in the next video. Um, check out my books over at Amazon.com. Yes, check out my books over at Amazon.com. We are the chosen ones. We do right. We live right. We make a lot of mistakes. But we are the chosen. We are the chosen ones. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.